again. This is Amanda May again. If you watched my previous video, then you know that God doesn't want me to have a paying job. So, in this video, I plan on explaining what I do to fill up this free time that I have. Well, I wake up every morning at about 10 a.m. I make my bed, eat breakfast, take vitamins, and then I have a very long, quiet time with God, uh, lasting two to four hours, depending. I have a lot of things that I do in this quiet time. For example, I'm currently reading my God's Words journal from beginning to end, uh, starting in high school all the way to the present. I'm currently in 2010. I'll talk more about this later. I also sometimes read books during my quiet time, which I just finished Joyce Meyer's Battlefield of the Mind. I also say affirmations. What is an affirmation? An affirmation is basically anything that you say out loud to yourself to so that you feel empowered. And God has really used this tool to help me get, overcome some wrong thinking that I've had over the years. And Joyce Meyer in particular um, teaches to retrain your brain by saying or citing scripture out loud like I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So what I do is I take not only scripture but also God's direct words to me and uh, that's how I change my wrong thinking. For example, when it comes to my future husband, I'll think he hates me. So, to refute that and change my thinking, I can list all the times that God has said he doesn't hate you and include specific dates. The dates work like scripture references. I don't really understand how or why it helps, but it does. Right now, though, I'm reading, or I say a list of strategic prayers inspired by the movie War Room for a list of my concerns, and I keep those on my wall. Another thing I do in my quiet time is I sing praises. This is one of my binders that's full of songs. <laughs> I have another one just like it. I sing anywhere from two to five songs. They're mostly praise and worship songs, but I have other songs in there too. Like this week, I sang, I'd like to teach the world to sing. I personally don't think that God cares what kind of song you sing. I think he just likes to hear his children sing. Like a proud parent. Let's see, what else? The, nut, the real nuts and bolts of my quiet time is Life Steps and Prayer. Life Steps is what Pathway calls its daily devotional that goes along with their sermon. I do these almost every day. And then I pray for a list of people uh, and concerns that I have. I physically handwrite my prayers in my journal. I can pray anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, whatever. Then I eat lunch, exercise, to a workout video, but mostly to Richard Simmons. Then I shower, get dressed, go to the library, because I don't have a computer or the internet at my house. At the library, I have several things I like to do, but mostly I post pictures on Facebook and play on Pinterest. I'm such a girl. However, right now I'm researching publishers and looking for a paying job. We'll see. I stay at the library for about two hours-ish. Then I come home, eat dinner, and then I work on my project. Mainly my journal project. What is my journal project? Well, that's where I sit down with my old journals, like this one, and read and label any insights or revelations from God, and then I hand write out everything in my God's Words journal. 
Currently, I'm studying 2019. It takes a really long time, and I usually watch TV or a movie when I'm writing. The hard part isn't the writing. That's pretty mindless. The hard part is knowing what to write and what to omit. So I usually end up writing way more than I really need to. Oh well. I also work on any writing projects that I have going. Like lately, I'm writing YouTube videos. And then at night, I read books. Currently, I am reading What Color Is Your Parachute? 2007 edition. My goal is to read one nonfiction and one fiction at a time. I haven't quite mastered it yet. However, I did start reading the novel Sex and the City, so I'm doing it now. <laughs> then I get ready for bed, and I pray on my knees. Mostly for my future husband. Or whatever concern I have at the time. Then I go to bed. Usually about 2 a.m. I'm a total night owl. Then I wake up. And the I repeat the cycle all over again. The next day. I compare my life to the movie Groundhog Day. Where you do the same thing every day, and nothing you do matters, and it just doesn't matter, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> it's like that song, we are the pirates that don't do anything, we just stay at home and lie around. So, over the years, I've had to get really creative coming up with ways to fill up my time. Now, I can it's something I can do easily, so I have to really scale back. My weekly schedule right now is Hope Church and Writer Circle on Sunday. Wednesday, I have Writer Circle and Hope Church on Wednesday night. And then on Saturday, I go to Pathway Church with my best friend and we prayer partner at night. But that's just right now. I've done tons of things over the years. I've led small groups and Bible studies through my church and on my own. I volunteered at the local theater uh, and the library, and I've been in two plays, and I've been involved in church, I've worked youth ministry, college ministry, uh, nursery, BBS, trunk of treats, I've taken up photography and piano <laughs> and almost guitar. I have a real talent for getting involved, and I enjoy it. Overall, though, I just tell, I just listen to God and he tells me what to do. So that's my daily routine. Come back next time and I'll tell you even more about my life. Thanks for listening. Bye!